Welcome fellas and fillettes, I am Glokaze, and in today's video, if I touch a color in Sonic Frontiers, the video ends. And if you're wondering how this challenge works, well, we've done it in pretty much most of Sonic games by now, but essentially what we have to do is spin a wheel of colors, and every time we spin that wheel, that is the color we cannot touch. If you're wondering what the order of the colors for this video is, here they are on the screen right now. Now to those Kaze fanatics out there who have been watching me for months now, maybe even years, if you've been here for ye years, you know that I have actually done this challenge before uh, anyway the first color is red by the way I don't know can we actually go through the middle of these actually we can't oh yeah we can we can we can we can we can we can but we touched red right there because there was a little tiny it was a very small but there was a little bit of red right there oh I can't do it hold on give me a second guys right, I'm just gonna restart the level but anyway the next color is cyan which we are yeah we're, we should be good on this level over here we just have to avoid the checkpoint but as I was saying prior to our demise if you guys are familiar with this video I've actually done this one before because okay but I've actually done this video before a couple months ago but you guys might be wondering why I'm doing it again and the reason for that is actually because of new game plus if you guys are unfamiliar with new game plus it's essentially just you just get all your progress from like a previous save file into a new game so you don't actually have to unlock any like of Sonic's moves or the spin dash for example all right now we get to skip the entirety of Kronos Island by doing a little thing we like to call a speed run I don't know why my camera flipped out right there so science should be an easy color to avoid throughout Kronos Island primarily because well we're gonna skip pretty much the whole island and I forgot about the invisible wall but obviously the goal for this challenge is to complete Sonic Frontiers and the fact that I am a Sonic Frontiers professional player we cannot touch those springs right there actually now that I'm looking at them luckily for us we don't have to touch them because I am the goat and as I say that I fall to my death again and the best part is we don't actually have to touch that spring we can literally just go behind it and just just jump on the platform and we can also avoid this because the game just lets us. Alright, these balloons are also a little bit troublesome, but we can quite literally just double jump over everything in this game. Now, the one bad thing about this boss fight over here is the fact that these rings are actually cyan, which means that we have touched cyan and the next color is blue. Luckily for us, Sonic cannot touch himself because I made that rule when we actually started doing these challenges. Yes! Oh my god, Sonic, please, please stay on, please stay on, please stay on, please stay on! And once we make it up top, we can... Uh, dude, I hate that you cannot control the camera when you're in the air for that. Luckily for us, Giganto is not the color that is undesirable for us, which is blue. He is, I, I would say, red red and black, I guess. Basically, what I'm trying to say is that this is a very easy boss fight that we can complete. And let me see if I can... Oh, I wanted to get it in one try right there, but I couldn't. And with that, we beat Kronos Island, and we only touched two colors. Now, the bad part is, from now on, this game gets a lot harder, primarily because there are not that many skips that are as time-saving as the one in Kronos Island. Now, for Ares Island, what the essential... Oh my god, the cam... I don't know what is up with the camera today, but it is not my friend today. And besides four keys, we also have to complete the first level over here, which is 2-1. And after we do that, we're pretty much done. Um, all we have to do here is get the Knuckles medal. We have to get 30 of them. But after we complete this cyberspace stage, all we have to do is get like 11 not too bad now for this level i believe there is blue so i will go a little bit slow i don't know where that it might actually just be cyan just straight up cyan but mm, <laughs> that that spring right there had blue that spring right there definitely had blue which means that the next color is yellow so we cannot touch a single ring and the issue with that is because as you guys can see right in front of me, the next color is green. Oh my, oh my god, we're surrounded by green right now. Luckily, we're on a platform that just so happens to not have any green. Anywho, we did touch green right there, which means that the next color is orange. But it's okay, because now we can pretty much just play the- God! Anywho, we can pretty much play the level now, because this level does not have any orange for us to touch. I don't know what it is about this stage, but there's just something. I just, I just literally, it's the hardest stage for me to just like, ma I did not mean to quit! Anywho, as I was trying to say, this is one of the harder stages for me to do because I always love to just straight up speed run it. But it's just, look at all this. It's such a specific spin dash. Like you have to be at a specific spot 
for the spin dash, right? Because you have to like do that, right? And then boom, there we go. Now I did it, right? And then it's this jump over here that always, yes, no, please get it this time. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my God. I don't think y'all understand. Whenever I accidentally quit the match, it just loads for an extremely long time. I don't know how to fix my load times on Sonic Frontiers. That's one thing that has always bugged me with this game. The loading times for me, they're so bad. All right, now we debate on what color the sand is. Is it brown? Is it yellow? Is it orange? I don't know. What do you guys think it is? I don't think it's none of those above. I think it's... I don't know what it is. What is it? Is it brown? In all seriousness, I don't know what color to consider that. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with not orange for now. <laughs> I'm literally just gonna go with not orange, but I'm gonna collect this chaos animal real quick. You know, although the sand is not orange, you know what is orange though? The metals. So I, I don't know why. I, I've literally just been sitting here collecting the metals. But it turns out that they're they, they, uh, next color is purple, but let's just keep going. I am not liking this so far. We have blown through a lot of colors just on this island over here. Now, this section is very easy. We cannot spin as it appears like. Actually, I'm pretty sure we just need to go like high ground and we are going to avoid the. <gasps> wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. The color is purple. Oh, wait, that's pink. No, okay, the dashes are pink. But I did. I think I did see. Purple, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, that's pink. This is pink as well. Pink, pink. Okay, never mind. Okay, that's all it's all pink. We're good. We're good. I thought I saw purple though. And now instead of collecting those sneaky knuckles tokens, all we gotta do okay, we gotta do it better than that. But essentially what we have to do is that and we have to go through the barrier right here. I don't know how many times tries this is gonna take me. Hopefully just two times there we go finally we do the hedgehog space station correctly and all we gotta do is make our way over there to the boss arena or area whatever you want to call that and now we're in the aries island boss fight and we are still on purple which is great news for us because chaos island is going to be a lengthy one and now we patiently wait for the wyvern to do that now from what I remember of this boss fight is that it is very very colorful all right now we gotta avoid actually touching the chaos emerald over here uh, skip that and now we are good to go wyvern boss fight and it's feeling a bunch of purple stuff and I'm hoping that I don't remember if the missiles in this level over here stay our boss fight are purple it does not look like they are I hope they're yeah they're not they're they're just like black and red this was such a good boss battle like, the boss battles in Sonic Frontiers are incredible. Like, they are amazing. Alright, now we got a couple quick step buttons to do, or quick time events. I love how in the top right it still says collect Knuckles memory tokens. I don't think we should be getting any of those anymore. You know, this boss fight actually had a lot of quick time events compared to the other ones. And with the defeat of Wyvern, we conquered Kronos Island and Ares Island at 0%, and we're still on purple. Alright, now we're in Chaos Island, and we did go through a lot of colors. The thing with Chaos Island is that we actually have to do the entire island. That's quite literally the reason why I don't speedrun this game a lot. Because Chaos Island alone is just one of those islands where it's just like, I am not, I don't feel like it, I just don't want to. Alright, and I'm gonna have to try to get everything super fast. Luckily none of these rings are purple, I just missed the easiest ring of my life too. We're gonna try to get as many as possible before anything, and that is purple right there. Oh my god, I come, I'm over here trying to like do everything, but like I always forget I'm doing that. Oh, oh, oh! I want to get those fishing tokens, but I don't want to touch purple. What's the next color? Okay, the next color is white. I don't think I should get these yet, but I want to so I can go fishing, so it makes it a little bit easier for me. But I don't want to get rid of purple just yet. All right, and now we go to the side. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is purple right here. You know, sometimes I just forget I'm doing a challenge and that happens, but it it's okay. The next color is white. Luckily, we're in Green Hill Zone. That's not going to really do anything for us, so we should be fine here. All right, we complete the level, but unfortunately, we I'm pretty sure we got everything done except the S rank right here. We got the S rank. I don't know how we got the S rank, but I'll, I'll take it. All right, now I'm hoping that we actually I have to talk to Tails first and then we do that. I have no idea. I completely forgot how to do the skip. Right, we should have enough Tails memory tokens right now. We have 33, so we should be able to talk to him. 
and then talk to him again and there we go we unlocked crush slash and i i don't care if i'm the key but now we have to get the chaos emerald which is all the way over there we're gonna collect some memory tokens on the way over there as well you know with new game plus chaos island is actually a little fun to traverse if i'm being honest you know, I don't really want to fight the fortress because the color is white right now, so we're just going to ignore you, okay, sweetheart? I don't really think it'll be a good idea if I fight you because I don't want to get rid of the color white yet. You know, one of the things that always pissed me off about Sonic Frontiers when I first played it is when I got to Chaos Island and I saw one of these and it gave me, instead of Knuckles, Tails, or Tails' memory tokens or whoever, I got a spring or a dash panel and that always just pissed me off so much. Right, maybe we can actually do this with the spin down. Oh my god, look at this. I don't even... Dude, that's actually crazy. That is actually crazy. How I literally didn't even need like the the, 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 the hedgehog space engine or space program thing. And I made it all the way to this island. I, dude, I, I love I love the spin dash so much. I'm never playing a regular game again. New Game Plus is my best friend. All right, now the thing is, there is a way to skip this part right here. I forgot how to do it. I don't usually do the Chaos Island speed run that much. Probably like my first time doing this in months. I don't know how to do it, so I'm just going to go ahead and do the actual boss part or whatever. Does this count as white? I'm going to... Oh, no, those are technically white, but they're surrounded by red, so... So, oh my goodness, that just came out of nowhere. But I don't think I'll count those as white. Oh my god. Yo, I did not realize how fast the- Look at how fast the boost is. Or how far it takes you. Look at that. Oh my god, if I had this in the if I die, the video ends video. Oh my god, I wouldn't pass this with flying colors. I lied. No, I wouldn't have. I think I figured out a very- I would say broken, but a very cheese way to do this because as you guys can see, look how fast I'm boosting. That's like, like that's incredibly useful, especially in a slow automated part like this where you you have to like stay on the track. But you, then you have this obnoxious boost right here, which kind of just negates everything. The game. Why? You see what I mean? You see what I mean? It's so broken that it did not recognize that it- Oh, maybe I should go by now. Right, I decided I was gonna do the skip- Oh my god, he's going fast. Hold on, hold on. He's going fast. Hold on, how do you do this again? Oh my god, dude, I forgot how to do this. Here, let's see if we can make it over here. Come on, tell me we can make it. Yes! There we go, okay. Um, what am I supposed to do again? Hold on, give me a second, guys. I am- My memory is a bit foggy. And I'm supposed to get like Tails' memory tokens or whatnot, but I'm not- Ah! See, like the skip is easy, but I just completely forgot what I'm supposed to do. I know I'm supposed to like collect Tails' memory tokens and I forgot the route I'm supposed to take, but it's okay. There is a chance we could skip this entire section right here by literally doing this jump and then double jumping and then- Are you kidding me? You're- you're kidding. You're kidding! Are you serious? I'm so good. I'm so good. You didn't. I didn't even look. Look, you're supposed to do the, uh, that entire section right there. But since I'm so good at this game and I could just skip the entire thing, we could just skip the entire thing. Can we spin dash. We can't spin dash on here. That's extremely disappointing. But it's okay. All right, now we go up here and do this cyberspace level. I really wish that you could do this like gigantic skip. Where? Oh my God! Is it this level? I hate this level so much. This level is absolutely atrocious. Like, look at this. It sucks! I don't like it! I didn't like this level in Unleashed. I don't like this level here. I'm actually better off just jumping over it and, and, and just doing it like that. Alright, well, we completed three of the missions, so now we just need to do one more for the S rank, and that's... We can spin dash, though, right? Hold on. Maybe we can do a little bit of uh, a tomfoolery here, because really, though, it takes forever to do... Oh, like, look at that! Oh, my God. No, I didn't mean to do that. Alright, it's fine. It's all good, it's all good, it's all good. And there we go, we did it! Okay! And we got a time of 52 seconds, great! We cleared all four missions, and I don't know if I do have enough to get the second Chaos Emerald. It's fine though, I don't really care. Alright, now we can get the second Chaos Emerald. I think the best part now about Chaos Island is the fact that we can just skip so much. Can we make it to the other side without needing to do anything extra? Yes, we can. Wow, absolutely astronomical. Oh, we might be in a little bit of a pickle over here, though. There's a lot of white around this area. Hopefully, I do have enough. Okay, I do have enough memory tokens to talk to him. But we do have a slight dilemma. Let's see. 
Okay, I know this part is a... Okay, that's white right there. This is gray. As long as we don't touch the computer itself. Actually, no. This mini game does involve with us touching, like, white. I think, I, I think we just have to avoid it. Alright, clearing the hacking mission. See, this is what I mean, though. Because, look at that, that's white right there. So, and we have to count that, too. That's, like, the unfortunate part. So, we can't lose any lives to the white one. We can only lose lives to this one. So, as long as we don't touch any of the white orbs, we are going to be okay. I love how this minigame was essentially getting us ready for the quote-unquote final boss fight. Okay, we, we cleared that very easily. I don't remember this taking me so much longer in the original playthrough. Oh my god, that was easy. All right, so you guys see how we got these bad nicks over here, correct? So, what we're gonna do is try to get up on that platform without killing any of the bad nicks. Also in 2D, not 2D, but oh my god, I was trying to do it in 3D. Here, let's see if we can find a way to do it in 3D. Let's get this quick little metal right here. And now we're in 3D. So let's... Oh my god, dude! It right, looks like I'm stupid, so I'm just gonna go down here. Hopefully there's no white down here. That was the main my main concern. I'm pretty sure there's no white down here. But I'm hoping I am correct. You're actually telling me. Dude, this is so much easier. This took me so long. Or not long, but it, it was so much... I want to say harder for me to like get through this thing oh my god we're already basically here bro look at this you're telling me the spin dash isn't broken what is this you're actually telling me that was a much easier route for me to take at this point chaos island might as well be its own video by itself because i'm pretty sure we've been here double the time that we spent on both kronos island and Aries Island. At least that's what it feels like because there's no way we haven't been here any less than an hour at least. And also, needless to say, we're doing way better with New Game Plus. I don't know if- sometimes it's the order of the colors, sometimes it's not, but we are doing exceptionally well compared to the last time because last time I'm pretty sure we just got to Aries Island and we died on the first cyberspace level. Alright, where's Tails at? Oh my god, bro, this is exactly what I mean. What is this? But we- Dude, I- I love this game so much now. I- I don't know why people think this game is bad. I see a lot of discussions, and it's mixed. And that surprises me a lot. Like, even throughout my first playthrough of Sonic Frontiers, I had a lot of fun. Hello, excuse me. I'm just gonna take the fishing tokens from you. Thank you so much. Oh my god, this section over here sucked so badly in the original game. Let me get a couple more tokens. I'm pretty sure we have to touch white in this section. I don't remember the color of the boxes, but I think one of them might have been... Ooh, give me some fishing tokens, but like I said, but one of them might have been white. I don't remember though. We're gonna see. <gasps> wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Do we consider the the parts white? Hold on. That actually... We actually might need to... I just realized the color of the mechanical parts, though. They actually might have to be considered white. Oh, no. I have to... Can we go photo mode, actually? Can we go photo mode? Yes, we can. Okay. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I know, like, tools in real life might be considered, like, silver. But these... These aren't sil- th is this silver actually? You, if you look at it from an angle, it's silver. But then you come over here. I don't know what to consider this. I mean, I guess we could count it as white. Unfortunately, we did touch white right there, but it, it lasted as a while. But now that the next color is pink, which is very bad for us because Sonic Frontiers has a lot of things that are pink, starting with the literal spring we have to take right there, or the dash panel we have to take right there. See, like, I'd rather not touch that as of right now. Just gonna go a little bit slow. What does it matter? Because the springs are pink right here. Oh my god, we are in danger zone. This is what I call being in danger zone. But we did touch pink right there, which means that the next color is brown, and I am getting a bit nervous right now. Which means that we cannot touch dirt or anything like that now. And luckily, we're in Chaos Island right now. Oh my god, I forgot how much mechanical parts you need for this and i'm only at can we ground pound this hopefully this should be enough hopefully this is enough oh my god please please tell me this is enough oh this should be yes come on collect 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 yes okay we did it we did it we did it first life too all right now we have 
three Chaos Emeralds right here. <laughs> Loki forgot about how lava can actually damage you in this game. Don't ask, please. You know, I didn't realize how much memory tokens have I actually been collecting. I have 120 so far, and now we have like 100. Okay, we have 130 something now, but we should have enough to talk to Tails right here. Let's get these fishing tokens as well. But we are down to our last two colors right now, which is incredibly dangerous because I don't know. I want to complete. Now that I've gotten this far into Chaos Island, I want to complete it, right? I, I can't touch brown because if I touch brown, I'm not going to be able to complete it because of night because he is black. All right, luckily we got Sky Sanctuary instead of any Green Hill Zone levels because if we get Green Hill Zone levels, that is going to be very bad for us. And there we go. Get that. This is also a fun level to speed run a little bit. Not not that much because Loki, I, I don't like this level. And I haven't liked this level in a while. Get that one. We should be able to get an easy S rank here. It's just about keeping our rings. I have zero rings right now. I just realized. Oh, goodness gracious. So I want to get this in one go. This part sucks. I always hate this part. I hate doing this part so much. No, this is exactly why I talk. This is exactly what I'm talking about. That part is trap. Bro. That part is so incredibly bad. It's actually insane. If I don't get an S rank in this level, I'm just going to lose it. I'm gonna lose it all. Like, really though, this level is actually the hardest cyberspace level in my opinion because, oh my goodness, hopefully I got an S-Rank. Please tell me I got an Okay, okay, I got an S-Rank by 15 seconds. And I didn't even get the 30 ring. Are you kidding me, bro? All right, and now we can get the fourth Chaos Emerald and we're almost, almost done with Chaos Islands over there, okay. Um, let's see if I can find a handy dandy. Yes, I can. Hey guys, hey fellas. But it looks like there is a brown on Chaos Island. I thought the whole island was going to be, like, black because, as you guys can see, like, this is, like, a charcoal color, kind of. And But there's, like, bits and pieces of brown, so we just got to avoid those pieces. Because if we do touch brown, that means it's just game over. Like, everything is, like, like that platform right there is black. Chaos Island is basically black. I'll count that as black. One thing I do need to do is go fishing because I do not want to... Oh, my God, I remember this. But I do not want to go through another cyberspace level because those are annoying i'm not even gonna lie cyberspace levels are so annoying now hopefully we can get this in one go because this part over here did take me a couple tries the first time i did it 10 seconds i need 10 seconds see this is exactly what i'm talking about though this part is hard dude like this part is actually hard why is it difficult please 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 yes give me five four three two yes Oh my god, this is exactly what I mean. Why is it so close? It's it's so close that I had to skip like part of that right there to actually be able to get it. And we get the Chaos Emerald. Oh yes, are we standing on brown right now? No, we're not, okay. Can we go this way? I don't think we can go this way, but guess what? I don't care. We can, we're gonna make our way over there using this way because you know what? I don't care about the rules. Wait, you can literally spam the spin dash over and over. Look at how much we just skipped. Are you kidding me? And then we can just quick step the rest of the way there. Are you, dude, this, this, this I love this so much. All right, and now we're at the final Chaos Emerald. Do we consider this brown? I don't think so. It looks more like silver on my second monitor. So I'm just going to consider that as like a silver rock right there. I, I don't know, but, um, what do we find? okay, we have the fine tail. Oh, this is the part. See, like, we could skip pinball, but I don't know how time-consuming it's going to be. All right, luckily for me, I'm good at pinball. This is actually... A lot of people complain about pinball, but honestly, it's very easy. Like, people are scared of the score that it gives you at the top right, but it's not that bad. Like, you're supposed to get a multiplier by getting red rings, and people say, like, oh, it's so hard to get the red rings. Like, yeah, it's a little difficult if you don't know what you're doing. I don't know, maybe I got lucky my first time playing, like... You see, it's it's not hard to get the multipliers and stuff. The one thing is though, whenever you die, your multiplier gets reset. But for speedruns themselves, I understand why this is frustrating because this is it like it didn't take me that I don't know how long it took me, honestly, my first time playing Sonic Frontiers. But I don't remember it taking me anything more than 10 minutes. See, like the thing is, the more lies you you lose, the more red rings spawn in. So, uh, before the pinball strategy was found out, a lot of what people used to do 
was they would lose two lives. It was a little bit risky, though, because you could get a bunch of unlucky bounces and stuff, but you, you, you could get, like, your multiplier up very quickly. Like, as you guys can see, I'm already at, like, a 32, and the max is, like, 252, I think? Yeah, because maybe I'm just good at pinball or something because it's literally been three minutes right now. Look at that. It's been three minutes. Okay, can I just... I can just die, right? I think I can just die now, but <laughs> it's literally been... Actually, no, it has not been three minutes. It's been... Four minutes and 15 seconds, and I beat it. I don't know. Maybe I'm just I'm just good at pinball or something, but it's it's incredibly easy for me. And now, here we go. <laughs> yeah, so much for that. Anyway, now we go to the one, the only night boss fight. And I don't know. I don't think we're going to be touching any brown, if I'm not mistaken, either. And honestly, out of all the boss fights in this game, I think this one's my favorite one. I don't know what it is about it. I love this boss fight so much. I haven't played it in a couple months now that I'm thinking about it. I know this boss fight requires a lot of pairing. So I luckily, we did get to it. Oh my god, I am lost. Where am I? 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 Right, here we go. Now we're in the night boss fight. I love this boss fight. It was incredible the first time I played it. It's incredible now. And oh my god, there needs to be a boss rush mode where it's just straight up bosses. Like I know they've added like a game mode like that, but it's not it's not the same, you know? And if you're this far into the video, let me know what you guys' favorite Sonic Frontiers boss fight is. Mine, as you guys know, it is night. And I've probably said Giganto before, and honestly, it's it's between night and Giganto. I love both of them. Hey, I, I like this one a little bit more. The music is better too, in my opinion. I don't know which one, which one you guys think is better, but in my opinion, the music for the night is better. I, oh my God, we got rid of him fast! What the hell? We got rid of him fast as hell! Oh my goodness, I love this boss fight though. This boss fight also has like I don't I don't wouldn't say this is a callback, but it's kind of a callback to Sonic and the Black Knight where he wields the sword and it's really cool. That may or may not be the reason why this is my favorite boss fight. I don't know. May maybe. I have no idea. But anyway, we complete the third island. And this is actually the furthest we've ever gone in Sonic Frontiers in one of these challenges. This is the part I was talking. Look at this. Look how cool this is. Like you can't tell me this isn't cold as hell. He grabs his own sword and splits him in half. Like, you can't say that's not the coldest thing Sonic has ever done. Now, this island should theoretically be easy. It's just the fact that there's going to be a lot more brown over here in this island. But it is a the shortest island out of all of them. Well, it is when you don't speedrun it, it's the shortest island. But since we are kind of... Technically, we sped run through Kronos and Ares Island... It's not going to be the shortest one. It's always going to be... Chronos Island took me like less than five minutes, I think. Maybe a little bit longer than that, but <laughs> literally nothing short of 10 minutes. And if you are still watching this, I really do appreciate it because I know this video is going to be a very lengthy one because we are in Rhea Island right now. And we still have the last two colors to touch, which are brown and black. And we're going to do everything to avoid those two colors in these last two islands, which is going to be extremely difficult because if we do touch brown, it's pretty much game over from there. And I know there's like, wait, oh my god! What? Uh, 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 okay. And I know there's like ways to do these like towers easier using badniks and stuff, but like, I think I'm good. I don't want to make this harder than it needs to be. And I don't want to mess up because like I said, I have not sped run like fully Sonic Frontiers in a while. It's been like months since I've done it. All right, number two is done. I think Rhea Island is going to be a very... <laughs> Honestly, we're almost halfway done with Rhea Island. I think the strategy is literally just to stay off the ground. Because if we just stay on the towers themselves, we're fine. Because there should not be any brown in these towers. Alright, and here we go. Tower number three is complete. Oh my god, wait. We have to shut down... Wait, we only have to shut down four? Shut down three... Okay, I was about to say... I could actually swear they updated this park right here because I do not remember all these balloons being here. All right, we can avoid this though. Yes. Okay, that was very scary. Luckily for me, I am very good at this game. And now we have one more tower to go. Okay, this is really messing up my view. Like, they just had to put gambling somehow, some way into this game. They just decided to put in a random... Like, what is the purpose of that? Like, seriously... Oh, wait, I just realized. You get, like... Wait, I might actually have to do that. Hold on. Wait, we might actually have to do that. We honestly might have to do that slot machine, though, so we can get some tokens for fishing, because for 
Uranus Island? Ur I don't know how to pronounce it. I still don't. But I do not want to do that island completely like I did for Chaos Island. Absolutely not. Not on my watch. And we complete Rhea Island. Great job, everyone. We did it. All right, we got to keep this going right here because we have to get as many fishing tokens as possible. Starfall Islands, I love you gambling. Please gamble me all the way. I want unlimited fishing tokens, please. I saw we didn't get any of this gambling nonsense before, but um, I'm just going to let it run so we can get as many fishing tokens as possible. All right, now the good thing is that in case that we do have an oopsie in this level over here, and I am getting good at this level, actually, now that I'm looking at what level we're at, but um, I think what I'm going to do is obviously speed run this level, but I also, I don't actually know where the red rings are for this level over here. Oh my god, it's so, this control, actually, you know what, I'm not even going to try to get the red rings, I'm just going to try to complete the level. But we do a perfect homing dash this time. There we go. And land here. Um, what the f- Loki, the red rings in this level are not that hard. I do see one over there, though. It's down here. I'm actually gonna get it. Why not? I'm actually very sad that I did not go for the red rings because they were actually very easy to get. Like, it's always bothered me that in this game, you can't actually- Oh my god, I forgot you have to get these three. But it's always bothered me that you can't just boost right through bad nicks in this game. Like, this is the only Sonic game that has boost that you can't do that in. Alright, now in this part, we can go a little bit slow. Because all we need to do is collect this red ring over here and get 70 rings. Uh, this cyberspace stage is a very easy one. And I'm gonna try to complete as much of the... How the hell did I not get the... But like I said, I'm gonna try my best to get every single one of these challenges on every single level or cyberspace level because if I don't, then it's going to be a little harder for me when I actually do start fishing, excuse me. This is also a very short level. I did get all the red rings right there. I don't think I got enough rings themselves though. I did get enough rings. Okay, so I just need to get- okay. This is a very easy level. All I gotta do is now is get a S rank. Yes, and we get another Chaos Emerald unlocked for us. Wait, does this count as brown right here? Oh, technically, that's a cutscene, right? And we don't we don't count cutscenes here. See, this is a cutscene right here, so I don't know if we should count this. I don't know. What do you guys think? I think I'm not gonna count this just because it's a technically it's a cutscene. So I if I can't interact with it, I don't think I should count that. All right, and we're pretty much almost out of tickets right here. 488 tokens, and like I said, uh, let me get these tokens real quick. Get this, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Okay, sold out. Okay, we got all the Chaos Emeralds. Now we just spam the memory tokens that hopefully we can... Oh, no. How many... We... I got 84. I only got 84. Okay, we got we got work to do then. All right, now we have all the Chaos Emeralds basically, but we still have to talk to Sage, unfortunately. All right, but first, let's get all the Chaos Emeralds before anything else. I don't even need to fight you anymore. I don't need any more vault keys whatsoever so i do not need to fight any of the guardians anymore you might be able to make the argument that i did cheese my way through this but I i'm at the point where it's like if i don't complete this game i'm gonna lose myself right so i'd rather complete this game using the easiest strategy i know and honestly that's what i was saving for this whole time or island and we don't need to fight you anymore but we can get the final or not final one of the last chaos emeralds over here all right now we have the very easy job of clearing the hacking missions which is very very easy if you know what you're doing all right and we clear it very easily essentially we have just beat 90 percent of the game and we still have brown and black left um you could make the argument that i did touch brown while i was fishing but i counted that as a cutscene. i mean do what you will i mean if you don't count it you don't count it if you do count it um uh leave a like on the video anyway but we do still have to watch out for brown as you guys can see brown is a very common color over here oh wait a minute 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 this has brown in it okay that section right there has brown in it i need to find a bad neck or something because I cannot go up there without touching brown, I think. All right, here we go. There we go. Now we got launched all the way up. Oh my god, I should have boosted longer. I don't know why I doubted myself. I'm quite literally standing on top of... <gasps> no, no, no. It's very small. It's a very small angle that I have to land on. Oh, and I avoided the brown. And I avoided the brown. Just give it to me. Give me a metal... Oh, there was no brown up here. Can I please? Can I please get it? Why can't I get it? Wait, wh why can I not get it? Wait, I'm actually confused. I have no option to get it. 
All right, there we go. I thought it was buggy. All right, now we have every single Chaos Emerald. And now what do we do? We got like Sage tokens. Of course we do. Like I'm hoping I don't need anything more than 150 memory tokens because if so, if not, like, how about the like pass out? Because I'm so close to the end of the game. Like literally, besides collecting these memory tokens, all I have to do is fight Supreme, basically, and I'm done. I'm done with the game. Wait, tell me I I need 54. I need 54 more. Are you kidding me? All right. And now prepare to see the most boring gameplay of your life because I am at the point where I do not want to risk a single thing. So I'm literally just going to side loop. I've been doing this for the past 10 minutes, by the way. Ever since it said 54, I got like like five of them. And I was like, no, this is not this is not how we're going to be doing this. This is the way we're going to be doing this. The hardest way possible because I don't want to risk it right now. There is no way. Okay, there we go. I got it. Yes, finally. After 10, 15 minutes of doing that repeatedly over and over again, we can finally unlock the last thing. Technically, this is like the last like hacking mission, but oh, did we get him. Okay, we got him. But technically, that is the last hacking mission because the final boss fight is pretty much this, but with the Titan. But we don't have to do it since we're on easy mode. All right, now we unlock the final gate for the final Chaos Emerald. And here we go. We skip this entire part because why not? We don't need to do it. Come on now. Let's let's be for real. All right. And now the moment we have been waiting for for however long this video is going to be. I have no idea. Hopefully it's not that long. But we are here in the final boss fight, the actual final boss fight, because in Sonic Adventure, we technically didn't get to the final boss fight. But technically, in Sonic Adventure, we only beat Sonic Story. You have to beat every single character story in that game, but we weren't gonna do all that. Absolutely not. I actually... This is unbelievable. The fact that we didn't touch brown that entire time... I thought there was gonna be a lot more brown, but it was only in, like, small little sections. It wasn't, like, as common as a common color as I thought it was. Like, there was these wooden boxes all over the island, which... They were easy to avoid, but unfortunately, there was, like, a couple of sage memory tokens on them. But it's, it's fine. We literally just had to cycle for a good 10-15 minutes to do this. And we pretty much cheesed our way through Uranus Island, and here we go. We, we beat Sonic Frontiers. Technically, literally, the rest of the game is cutscenes. So, give a round of applause to Glokaze in the comments down below. We did it, everyone. We beat our second Sonic game in this challenge. Alright, now for the final moment of this game. We have to literally press three buttons. Here's one. Here's two. Here's two. Here's two! Oh my god. I did not mean to- Oh my god, that scared me so bad. I don't know how I failed that twice. Oh my god. At least it wasn't one of those quick time events where you can only do it once. I have never failed that until right now. But it's okay. I mean, we, we did it. We beat Sonic Frontiers. We have successfully beaten the game without touching the last color, which was black. I mean, I know I didn't say anything about it, but like I, I kind of went back into the recording and noticed that I touched brown. But we, I, you guys are probably going to notice in the edit as well. Like for the final boss fight, I was surprised there was not that much black. Although the only things that were black were his the cannons and his hands. So, I mean, <laughs> we beat it. And with that, we have beaten our second Sonic game in this challenge. Let me know which Sonic game I should do in the comments down below. But as always, thank you guys for watching. And please leave a like on this video since we did win. Subscribe if you haven't already. And see you guys next time.